Student loans may be something that you're considering applying for in order to fulfill on your dream career. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of applying to student loans. Hi everyone, it's Erica here with Grant Me, and if you're looking for the best advice on scholarships, university applications, um, and even how to study in Canada, uh, whether you're a high school or university student, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. We'll be uploading videos every Monday. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about things that you should consider before that student loan hits your bank account. Whether you decide to apply for a student loan or not, these are some things that you want to consider beforehand. So we're first going to start off by talking about four pros to signing up for a student loan. The first pro is building up your student credit. Now, student go government student loans tend to have lower interest rates compared to private loans um, or loans from the bank. Before you apply to your student loan, you actually don't need to build up any credit to apply for a student loan. Um, and um, so that means that when you apply for a student loan, um, it's basically based on your current income. An additional side note to that is that when you're finished school, you actually don't have to make any payments on your student loan until six months after you've graduated. They basically give you that period of time to go and look for jobs um, that you can um, pursue to help start paying back your student loan. The second pro to signing up for a student government student loan um, is whether you're actually going to be eligible for the loan forgiveness program. So in order to be eligible for the loan forgiveness plan, there are two ways, uh, two categories that you can be eligible for. Uh, whether you may be pursuing uh, an occupation in an unserved community, um, that is one category, or you might be working in an occupation where you're helping children um, throughout BC. So I'm going to give you a few examples of what occupations might fulfill these two different categories. So we have, uh, if you're looking, if you're eligible for the category um, where you're in an occupation in an unserved community, um, the occupations would uh, that would be considered are nursing, uh, being a physician, midwifery, medical laboratory technologist, diagnostic medical sonographer, speech language pathologist, audiologist, occupational therapist, physiotherapist, respiratory therapist, and the other category where you're working with children throughout BC, a speech language pathologist, occupational therapist, audiologist, physiotherapist, school psychologist, technology educator, or a teacher of the deaf and hard of hearing or the visually impaired. So if you're wanting to pursue one of those careers, you may be eligible for the loan forgiveness plan. Um, and to check out more specific details, I've put the link below um, so you can see if you're eligible. The third pro to taking out a student loan is maybe you don't necessarily need to use all of your loan. Um, there is a portion of your loan that's typically granted to you as a grant compared to um, the rest of your loan. So when you apply for a student loan, um, part, a part of your um, loan will be the loan, and then a smaller part of what you're granted from the government will be a grant. So the grant portion of your loan is something that you don't have to pay back. Um, I actually wasn't eligible for a specific grant when I applied for a loan. Um, however, it depends on everyone's different circumstances you may be eligible for a small portion of a grant so if you are eligible for a student loan and they've given you a grant attached to your student loan um, maybe you can use your grant first before you actually go into your loan so you can use the portion of money that is um, something that you don't need to repay before you dig into your student loan and you can put your student loan portion into a TFSA where it can kind of gain some interest and make money on it um, before you have to actually go in and use it if you need it. The fourth pro to taking out a student loan is your eligibility for financial need bursaries from your school. So. Basically what will happen is if you apply for a student loan, um, you'll, have a, you'll have a certain area of an unmet need. And if you um, take that amount and go to your um, university website or financial need office and apply for a financial need bursary, identifying what your unmet need is, um, they'll be able to give you a bursary, which is something that you don't have to pay back um, because you signed up for a student loan. Most of these financial need applications do require you first to exhaust all of your different resources before you apply to the financial need bursary, meaning you need to apply to the student loan before you can even 
uh, apply for a financial need bursary from your school. Majority of universities across Canada do have these financial need bursaries available. There may be one or a couple on each of their websites that you can apply for, um, but that's just a little bit of a tip that if you are applying for a student loan, you may be eligible if you have that unmet need to apply to a financial need bursary at your school. Now let's go into the cons of taking out a student loan. Con number one, despite interest rates being a little bit lower for government student loans, they still have interest rates and your interest payments can accumulate over time, meaning the longer that you take to pay off your loan, the more money you're paying in interest rates. Con number two, Poor money management. Um, you could fall into the trap of poor money management thinking that this money that is given to you is something that you can spend whatever on. Um, typically what might happen is you might get your student loan, you'll pay your tuition, your books, um, put a deposit down for your housing, and you might have some money left over. Without proper money management, that money might go to trips or makeup that you wanna buy at the store. Um, when really it should be saved for your monthly expenses, whether you need food, a different textbook, something like that transportation. Um, and so that is another con of taking out a loan. You may have feel like you have the freedom that you can uh, spend the money. However, it, it does it is money that needs to be repaid back to the government. Con number three. Um, you could hurt your credit rating if you cannot make your repayments after you've graduated. Um, typically what'll happen is after six months uh, of you graduating, you'll have to start making payments back to your student loan. And if you haven't found a job yet, that might be a bit of a struggle for you and eventually hurt your credit rating in the future. However, there is a plus to this. If you do reach out to um, your government student loan um, organization, whether you're from Saskatchewan, BC, um, for example, Student Aid BC, you would reach out to them um, and say that you're having difficulties repaying your student loan. And there definitely are some ways that they can work that out with you to make your repayments easier, whether it's um, deferring it by a couple months or a month or so, um, or reducing your monthly payment. The fourth and final con to taking out a government student loan would be the feeling of going after a career that you might not necessarily want. Um, you know, you might have that urge to start paying your student loan back right away and you might start accepting jobs that may not be in your field of interest um, just so you can just start chipping away at your student loan. Um, this feeling of restriction um, may come afterwards um, and also maybe during your, um, your post-secondary schooling as well. If you're wanting to go into a master's program or do a PhD and you already have student loans taken out, you might feel the urge to quit school and start repaying some of that back rather than continue on with your education and paying it later. Now, um, whatever you decide to do, that definitely is your choice, um, but you might feel that hesitation of continuing post-secondary or going after your dream career um, if you have taken out that loan beforehand. All right, so now that we have gone through the four pros and cons of taking out a student loan, i really love to hear your stories and your thoughts on student loans. Comment in the comments section below and let me know, um, you know how this process has been going for you. Do you have any additional pros or cons to add to this video? Um, we'd love to hear in the comment section below. And if you're wanting more content regarding post-secondary school, scholarships, uh, money, funding, things like that, be sure to, um, you know, subscribe to our channel and also check out our blogs on our website. We have a lot of information regarding money, scholarships, and university applications um, for students in high school and in post-secondary school. So make sure to check out our website in the description box below. Or if you'd like to book a call with one of our scholarship educators who'd be able to do a scholarship assessment for you, I will put the link in the description box below so you can make an appointment with one of our scholarship educators. Thanks so much for tuning in everyone and we hope to see you next time. Bye.